everyone welcome to let's revise today we will be looking onto the parliament's power to legislate on state subject so the question today uh, it is a 2016 previous year question the parliament of india acquires the power to legislate on any item in the state list in the national interest if a resolution to that effect is passed by lok sabha by a simple majority of its total membership Lok Sabha, that is option Bombay. Lok Sabha by a majority of now not less than two third of its total membership. C. Rajya Sabha by a simple majority of its total membership. D. Delhi, that is Rajya Sabha by a majority of not less than two third of its members present voting. So we will look into the details about it. Understand that Rajya Sabha has certain powers, certain special powers, and of them, two most important one is Article 249 as well as Article 312. Article 249. authorizes the parliament to legislate on state subjects if rajya sabha passes a resolution for that so there is uh, so there is one particular area so it is article 249 along with that article 312 that is 312 also empowers the parliament to create a new all india services if rajya sabha also passes that is if here also rajya sabha has to pass a resolution and in both cases the grounds has to be national interest and at the same time the majority it's also very important it is not a simple majority but it is actually a majority that is not less than two third members present and voting there is two third members of rajya sabha there is rajya sabha members present and voting so it is the majority along with that there are other four areas also wherein the parliament can legislate on state subject article 250 article 250 empowers the parliament to legislate on state subjects when national emergency has been declared along with that there is also by article wherein when two or state, two or more states pass a resolution asking the parliament to legislate on a particular state subject in such a case also the parliament can legislate on it the next is article 253 which also empowers the parliament to legislate on state subject if it is to be, if it is to give effect to an international treaty or an agreement so that is also a particular scenario and the other one of course you all know there is article 356 where in president's rule or state emergency has been declared in such a case also the parliament has a power to legislate on that particular area that is on the state subjects also so these are the four important criteria along with that keep that in mind there is article 249 is also there so these are the five important areas where in the legislature can legislate or parliament can legislate on state uh, state subjects so moving on the question is the parliament of india acquires the power to legislate on any item in the state list in the national interest if a resolution to that effect is passed by so here we have lo looked into the options so the answer should be d delhi that is rajya sabha rajya sabha by a, by a majority of not less than 2/3 of its members present and voting has to pass a resolution with that so that's it thank you see you on monday